Jose, uh, by the way. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the impressive performance. I'm curious, what are the emotions now after finishing Dominic Reyes in quicker time than the current champion of your division? Um, it's, it's bittersweet due to the uh, week we've had and the penalties that we had to suffer with the uh, point five, point six weight miss. So it's a little bittersweet, but, you yeah, know, it's all right. Was there anything else this week that you you just alluded to besides the weight issue, the point five? Oh, I was sick. I was sick of shit. Uh, we had to take a, a Z pack. Uh, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday I think. And so, and then when I got here, I found out that Monday my oldest son got sick. Tuesday my daughter got sick, and then Wednesday I got the text saying that my son had it. So, and then on top of that, I had my mom and dad at the house. So. We we went we had to go through a lot with the trying to stay focused and whatnot. But you know, trusting my team, trusting my trusting myself, trusting every you know everyone around me. But it never got close to you having to pull out of the fight on fight. Oh hell no! I knew Saturday or Sunday. I was, I, I was like, oh, this is about to be my flu game. I was like, I, don't, I feel like shit, but I'm about to fuck him up anyway. <laughs> you mentioned that you had never trained for a fight before in anything more than three weeks. That how, what would. It's hard to believe that someone in the top 15 of any division just can go three, any less more than three weeks like that. Yeah, um, basically I just get fat and I like to eat and coach kind of tells me I may smoke too much. So <laughs> with that is a lot of eating and being able to enjoy. I just didn't know how to balance my life out. And now we've been working on the things to actually balance out everything to do what I need to do and be more dedicated and focused on this goal. And you said at media day in your last fight, it kind of clicked with you that you're going to be a, the world champion at some point. Is that what you're referring to, like m moving forward, like all these changes you made? Yeah, so that was the start of it. Um, being able to work on the mental side of things and then that leading to me actually doing the physical side of things because naturally I know I'm gifted and that was always my downfall, which is I'm better than a lot of people and I knew it and I was like, ah, oh, what the fuck I need to work for? Yeah, that's stupid. So now we've actually been putting in work, you know. And finally, for me, you've said in the past, like, when asked about, like, game plan stuff, you go, you let your coaches worry about that, and you just do what they tell you to do, and it works out. So this combination that put Dom away, that one-two, is that what you had been planning for? No, that, that wasn't a one-two. That was a three-two. And it was the three that put him down. Coach was kind of screaming at me. He kind of cut through the noise at one point because I, I think I started to bang. I was like, oh, I just need to touch him real quick so I can, you know. And I felt myself rushing, and then coach was kind of yelling at me. And I was like, all right, coach, I'm good. I'm back. I'm back. You know, let me slow down. So that's what I had to do. And the last one for me, what was this, the point five issue? Like, you just get in. Man, you have a lot of last ones. That's last, last one. <laughs> it just it popped into my head. Okay. Is it the point five thing that you're talking about? You don't get that extra time like most cities and states? Yeah, which, you know, which is unfortunate. We could have made it. I was actually still sweating. We just ran out of time due to trying to cut weight and deal with mucus and it was it was a terrible, terrible dry heaving because I had nothing to throw up, and then the mucus being so thick, it it was. I wouldn't wish that on nobody, man. Like it was, it was terrible, but you know it happened the way it needed to happen, I guess. So we'll see what happens next. Like we understand why we missed, and I know I put the work in. So my mind, my focus never shifted. I even told them then I was like. All right, well, at least now I just got to slow down. So I know I'm not going to get the bonus, so whatever. Ryan, right in front of you, Nolan. Um, you know, you talk about turning the corner here and kind of figuring everything out and also that you kind of came to that realization that you're going to be a champion one day. I guess how far away do you feel like you are from that? Kind of what's the roadmap to get there from here? What's your last name, man? King. Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not far. I'm not far from being the king of this division. <laughs> Well, well played, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, is there any names that you want next? Anybody maybe for a headlining bout or, or anything like that? I don't care. Like I, told, like I said the other day, I'm not the shooter. I'm the bullet. Like, I want top five and four, three, two. I don't want. Congrats, man. Ryan just here, Louise. Um, you said top five next, but I think there's a lot of the top five booked up already or, or out with injuries. I think the only person available was... Tops, well, number six, Jamal Hill, with 
Would that be a matchup that would interest you? I want top five and four, three, two. I don't want. <laughs> and then we've got the title fight coming up soon with Yuri Prohushka and Glover Teixeira too. What, what do you think about that fight? How do you see that playing out? I don't know. I don't care. The winner is going to have something I want, and that's what I'm coming for. How do you see yourself matching up with either of those? Very well. <laughs> Thank you. Just to clarify, what, right, Ryan in front, Kenny, how are you? My man, there it is. Thank you very much. Uh, so when you say three weeks, just to clarify, when you're talking about it's three weeks when you finally get down and focus on what it is. You said you were eating bad. You were still having some fun. This camp, you finally maybe cut that stuff out? <laughs> yeah, so basically what happened is I'll just get fat again after the fights and stuff. And we'll spend a long time trying to get down from too much, which is what I think Uriah always says. it. Um, but this time I had my nutritionist, Eric Pena, come in and – he was with me for six or seven weeks or so. And we really dialed it in and honed it in. And I've been working with Mike Skeisha at ESP. And we just, it's, it's, it's been a different ball game. Like, I've always did all this stuff. But the truth is, I didn't do it for a fight. I've been doing it for the scale, truthfully. Now that you see the results, I mean, oh, that yeah, kind this of, is good, right? Yeah. You like that, huh? You see, that was, <laughs> hey, that was nice. I was going to say, because even the guys at first, the, the commentary, when they're talking about it, they thought it was a hook. And then they looked and they said, no, that was a jab. They, they said it looked like he sort of turned it over at the end, so they were kind of giving it. It was like a straight, uh, it, it was a bunch of different ways to throw that hook, you know, like, you know, well, Roger Mayweather say most people don't know shit about boxing. You know, there's more than one way to throw a certain type of punch, and that was one. And then last thing for me, and it will be the last one, not like the other. And shout out to Coach, by the way. He the one that kind of showed me that a long time ago. It's like a knuckle punch. <laughs> and so with that, would you say that you, you put your, your name down as the, the strongest uh, puncher there at Fortis MMA? I just want to start some beef with you and your teammates. Oh, they already know what it is. They already know. No, just can't. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, Jeff does hit hard. Jeff, Jeff does hit hard, but, you know, I'm captain for a reason. Congrats on the win. Uh, Mr. Spam, back here. What's your name, brother? Uh, David Potter with MMA Weekly. There we go. Uh, congratulations on the win, and I'm glad you and your family are okay. Um, your last fight was in May. Uh, do you want to get right back in there, or do you want to just rest up, uh, take it easy for a bit? I mean, this was a convincing win over a uh, former title contender. Uh, do you want to just get right back in there and continue on your momentum, or uh, what's your game plan? Uh, like she just pointed out, apparently some people are busy. Uh, <laughs> So we'll see. Uh, I know my immediate goal now is to be back in the gym Monday. That's awesome. all I care about. We'll figure out the rest later and getting home tomorrow. Awesome. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. Ryan in the back here. Phil? Phil. Um, it seemed from the first time you landed on Dom, it, like it seemed to stun him a little bit. Did you feel that uh, every single time you landed, like a knockout would be eminent pretty soon? Um, I told my coach. Uh, I told my coach a few weeks ago. I was like, I want to get his neck, but I feel like I'll accidentally knock him out. And yeah. And uh, you said you're not far from a title in your in your head. You don't think you're far from a title shot, uh, Dom? I mean, his resume speaks for itself. The three guys that he lost to were uh, eventually ended up becoming champions. All three of them. So, uh, do you think the prestige of Dom's name on your resume makes it easier for a title shot coming soon? You tell me. I mean, the last three people he fought were held the belt, right? So we'll see. Thanks, Krabs. Congrats. Thank you. Ryan, know. Ryan. Call me right? Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said congrats. I just uh, I choked up a little bit. A little tickle in your throat? Yeah, a little tickle in my throat. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan T, right? Uh, Keith's chilling with I'm a sure dog. Uh, at one point, you looked like you were almost at a guillotine. How close was that? Um, it wasn't really close. He, I think he tucked his chin, but at that point, I really wasn't worried. I could hear my coach kind of talking me through the situation, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I tried to snap down. Snap down didn't work, and he kind of, well, I couldn't get his neck. So, you know, I'm pretty sure he was well prepared for that. So we had to go to plan B. Yeah, and, and I'm looking at the rankings. You said you want top five, but not two, three, and four. So that leaves one Glover Teixeira or five Anthony Smith. Is, is that the two guys you're basically saying without saying their names? Can you count? <laughs> I, I don't know. 